Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. If you've been thinking about diving into the world of fiber lasers or upgrading to something that can handle everything from deep brass engraving to colorful stainless steel designs, this video is for you. Today we're taking a hands-on look at the Handsmaker F1 Pro, a 20 watt fiber laser that promises speed, precision, and versatility in a compact portable package. I've spent the last month putting it through its paces, engraving metals, plastics, stone, and even cutting steel, and I've discovered some impressive strengths and a few quirks that you'll definitely want to know about before buying. Stick around because by the end of this review, you'll know exactly whether the F1 Pro should be your next laser. Before we begin, this F1 Pro was provided for me to review by Handsmaker. As with all of my reviews, they aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this laser for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in anything you see in my videos, from lasers, materials, or accessories, you can use those links to help support my channel. We appreciate it. The Handsmaker F1 Pro is a 20 watt fiber laser. It produces a 1064 nanometer wavelength infrared laser. Fiber lasers are perfect for cutting and engraving almost all metals and plastics. Metals such as steel, aluminum, brass, titanium, and more. And you can even do deep engraving like these custom brass coins. Fiber lasers are also great for darker natural materials like stone and leather. Fiber lasers do not work on wood or transparent materials like clear acrylic or glass. Hands Maker is a new company, born from Hands Laser, a Chinese company known for their industrial lasers. They created Hands Maker in order to bring their industrial laser expertise into the consumer, hobbyist, and small business market, and the F1 Pro 20 watt is their first product. The F1 Pro is a self-contained fiber laser, with everything contained in the main body. The laser source produces the laser, which shines through a pair of Galvo mirrors, down through the focusing lens, and onto the material that you are engraving. The lightweight Galvo mirrors can move rapidly, enabling engraving speeds of up to 10,000 millimeters per second. All fiber lasers are pulsed lasers. Materials respond differently to various frequencies, so you can adjust the pulse frequency depending on your needs. The laser source in the Handsmaker F1 Pro 20 watt can be adjusted between 5 and 150 kilohertz. That is a pretty large frequency range for non-MOPA fiber lasers. I was always able to find the frequency which worked perfectly for all the materials I tested. It's important to test speeds and frequencies on your materials. Too fast of speeds or too low of a frequency can show pulsing artifacts, so you won't be running at 10,000 millimeters per second most of the time. Normally, I was between 1,000 and 4,000 millimeters per second depending on the material. The main body sits on an electric lifting stand. You can use the two buttons on the laser to move the lift up and down, allowing you to focus the laser precisely onto your material. To aid with that, the F1 Pro has dual red light focus. Place the material you want to engrave under the laser, and move the laser up or down until the two red dots line up. Once they do, the F1 Pro is perfectly in focus and ready to engrave. While there is no autofocus feature, manually focusing only takes a second or two, and I had no issues with the dots lining up exactly. The F1 Pro has an inline red laser which shines through the Galvo and lens to help you position your designs precisely. The software let you outline the bounding box, the outer contour, or each individual shape of your design. I found this red laser easy to work with. I could easily see the laser from all angles and on all of the materials that I tested with. And the red laser lined up with the cutting laser perfectly. There was no offset like I've seen in some other lasers that I've tested. The F1 Pro can be used in a number of different ways. Normally it rests on the lifting stand, letting you engrave items underneath. If your item is too large to fit in the stand, then you can remove the center of the stand and place the laser on top of the material you want to engrave. And if you need more portability, you can remove the laser from the stand entirely and use the F1 Pro handheld. To aid in the handheld mode, you can use the yellow safety shield. This shield not only protects you from the laser light, but is also the perfect height to focus the laser at the bottom of the shield. So place the laser and the shield onto whatever you want to engrave, and you're ready to go. This flexibility and portability is awesome to see. The F1 Pro weighs 7.5 kilograms, which is pretty light for a fiber laser. However, because everything is located in the laser head, it can be a little hard to hold and position with one hand. And the sensor of mass is towards the back, so you can't rest it only on the safety shield. It'll always want to tip backwards unless you hold onto it. That's not a big downside, just something I noticed when using the F1 Pro handheld. The F1 Pro comes with a 110mm field lens by default. This gives it a working area of 110mm by 110mm. This is a medium sized work area, and is a good balance between size and how tightly focused the laser beam is. Handsmaker claims that the F1 Pro has a precision of up to 0.001mm. I can't tell test that directly, but I can confirm that the F1 Pro has remarkable resolution. I was getting great results, especially with picture engravings on black acrylics. 
The work area has a grid of threaded holes. You can use those holes to create alignment jigs, allowing you to consistently position materials for engraving batch jobs. The top of the laser consists of the handle with the power button and the up and down buttons for the lifting stand. There is also a removable filter, making it easy to clean and maintain. Around the back, we see the USB Type-B port for connecting to your computer, a USB port labeled SDS, which I assume is for diagnostics, and then a couple of RJ45 ports for the optional rotary attachment and to power the lifting stand. And finally, the main power input. Unfortunately, there is no foot pedal or start job button, so you'll need to start the job from your computer. That can be limiting when using it in handheld mode. Assembling the F1 Pro was very simple. Remove everything from the well-packaged box and simply place the laser onto the lifting stand and secure with a single bolt. And then plug in the lifting stand, plug in the power brick, and you're ready to go. Hans Maker also includes a nice pair of safety glasses. Laser engravers, especially powerful lasers like the F1 Pro, are dangerous. So always wear eye protection and read the manuals to know exactly what materials are safe to use in the laser. Moving to the software side, the F1 Pro is designed to use Lightburn. I love Lightburn, but it does require a license. Thankfully, Handsmaker includes a Lightburn Pro license, which is a 200 US dollar value, with the purchase of the F1 Pro. That's important to note because they do not include other free software like EasyCAD, and they only have instructions for Lightburn. You do have to manually configure Lightburn with your machine-specific calibrations. This step could be confusing to newcomers. The paper manual doesn't mention how to set up Lightburn. Handsmaker does have good Lightburn documentation on their website, but the most important step is located at the very end of the instructions. If you scroll past all the what every button in Lightburn does, then at the very end you are told how to enter your machine-specific calibration. Handsmaker includes a laser-engraved aluminum card with your machine's calibration. In Lightburn, you open up the device settings and then you can enter all of those values. If you don't do this, then your laser will not engrave properly. Shapes will be distorted and the wrong size. But once configured though, the F1 Pro works amazingly well with Lightburn. And Lightburn has some great features, like the 3D slice mode, which makes deep engraving 2.5D designs a breeze. So with all of the specs out of the way, let's take a look at how well the F1 Pro cuts and engraves. All of my tests were run using a fume extractor by Omt. Tech. I highly recommend picking up an extractor for any fiber laser, which will remove particles and fumes from the air. Handsmaker does not currently sell any extractors, but I wanted to mention that I used one during my tests. Metals are the F1 Pro's specialty. Coated aluminum cards are quick to engrave, and the F1 Pro worked well on all of the different colors of coated aluminum that I tested. I love these business cards. The F1 Pro can also engrave directly onto bare aluminum. You can get some dark engravings onto aluminum. And by engraving multiple passes, I was able to get some pretty good deep engravings on this block of aluminum. Them. Speaking of deep engravings, these custom brass coins turned out amazing. I was able to engrave about 1.5 millimeters deep in about an hour and a half. If you want more details about how I engrave and finish custom brass coins, you can check out my recent video showcasing my process here. The F1 Pro did a great job for a 20 watt fiber laser. By varying the power, line interval, and frequency, I was able to achieve some brilliant colors on stainless steel. The F1 Pro might have the best color results that I've seen from a non-MOPA fiber laser. I was able to create greens, magentas, blue blues, reds, purple, and way more colors. Normally, I've only seen this variety on MOPA lasers. The F1 Pro really impressed me with these color results on stainless steel, but the F1 Pro can also cut through metals. I have a variety of stainless steel sheet metal, and the F1 Pro was easily able to cut through the 0.1 millimeter steel sheet in just two passes, and it did so without major warping. This steel gear was impressive. Nice work, F1 Pro. The F1 Pro can also engrave on plastics. It creates a high contrast white engraving on black acrylic. These 3D print log keychains look great. The plastic is engraved without bubbling, and even the small text and tick marks on the ruler look good. Image engraving also looks awesome on the F1 Pro. I had to adjust the brightness and contrast a few times to find the right settings, but eventually I got some pretty good results using a picture of my cat Sven. And finally, let's engrave some slate coasters. I was able to get a nice variety of effects on slate. Multiple passes engrave pretty deeply, and while a single pass at a lower power gives a brilliant white engraving. I love the look of this coaster. So in conclusion, for their first fiber laser, Handsmaker has done a lot of things right with the F1 Pro. Compared to other 20 watt lasers on the market, the F1 Pro performs near the top of its class. I was impressed by the performance, able to engrave aluminum billets and deep engraved brass coins, while also cutting through thinner steel sheet metal. But it's also accurate enough to get some great plastic engraving results, and I'm blown away by the stainless steel colors that I was able to achieve with the F1 Pro, creating colored oxides that I've only seen on MOPA fiber lasers. The portability of the F1 Pro gives you flexibility on what objects you can engrave. If it can't fit on the lifting stand, then you can 
always remove the laser and use it handheld. And the included safety shield makes focusing while handheld a breeze. There is no start mark button or foot pedal though, so you'll have to start the job from your computer, which makes the handheld mode a little harder to use. The F1 Pro was easy to get up and running, and I like how they are providing Lightburn Pro licenses with the F1 Pro. You'll want to follow their Lightburn setup guide fully, including the machine specific calibration steps at the very end of the instructions. That can be easily missed, and you'll end up with bad results. But once set up and running, the results from the F1 Pro are incredible. I had an excellent time working with the F1 Pro. The Handsmaker F1 Pro is on sale for $1,479 at the time of recording. This is a really good deal, making it less expensive than many other 20 watt fiber lasers currently on the market. As always, check out the links below for the current prices. But for those looking for a fiber laser while not wanting to break the bank, then I could give the Handsmaker F1 Pro a great recommendation. So thank you all for watching my review of the Handsmaker F1 Pro 20 Watt Fiber Laser. What was your favorite feature? What features do you think it's missing? Let me know in the comments below. I have plenty of upcoming projects and reviews, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you are still in the market for 20 watt fiber lasers, why not check out my recent review of the M-Smart One. It's a foldable fiber laser that might just be the laser you are looking for. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.